What's going on, guys? It's your boy, John and Liquid, and are coming back with breaking news. So it looked like WNBA Commissioner Kathy Engelberg has broke her silence about this discrimination lawsuit, and the Indiana Fever released some major new information about Kaylin Clark. Guys, for this one here, we got to go to Good Morning America. Let's get it. Let's go. <laughs> Information has been revealed in the last coming days about Derrica Hamby lawsuit against the Las Vegas Aces and the WNBA as a whole. She's basically stating that she was traded because she got pregnant and pretty much they cut her from the team. Now we already know the league do not want to have any more bad press surrounding them after the Caitlin Clark snub. Well, I'm here to tell you, bad press is going to be coming out about this situation because it is a jaw dropping allegations coming down up on this league. Now, Kathy went on Good Morning America and set the record straight as she broke her silence speaking about Derrica Hamby and what is currently going on. She spoke about the lawsuit, but she also spoke about the media rights deal, breaking it all down in a simple conversation. And it's just great to see her finally kind of take a charge to the league, making more public appearances, giving more insights about the inner workings of the WNBA because because for the simple fact, it is a lot of new fans that has came to this league. And I feel like if she do more speaking engagement, that can ultimately help the viewership. With all that being said, let's roll the footage. I'm talking about the Erica Hamby. Of course, she, uh, formerly of the Las Vegas Aces, she has filed a lawsuit against the Aces and the league claiming that she was discriminated against after she became pregnant. Where do you, how do you respond to, to her yeah, Pursuit. just landing from Paris, just saw that the complaint was filed. Mm -hmm. We're reviewing it. Obviously, we'll have our lawyers, lawyers take a look at it. But Derek is such a great player in this league. She just represented our country in 3x3. On 3x3, three three. Three, won the bronze medal. Yes, and won the bronze. So Derek is a, a great, she has two children, a great mom. Yeah. Uh, spent a lot of time with her over the last couple of years. So we'll obviously review this. And what is the WNBA doing to ensure uh, that these families, that these women and these families have all that they need? Yeah, I think in the last collective bargaining agreement, we opened up a lot of progressive benefits for moms, uh, full maternity leave, uh, rooms for children on the road and in in markets. So there are a lot of a lot of things because a lot of our players don't necessarily live in the market in which they play. True. So there's a lot of additional benefits. Also, just across the board benefits for women athletes for the first time, whether it's fertility benefits and other things that we know our players want. But we'll know they'll want more in the next round of mm -hmm, negotiating. Mm -hmm. So we're uh, actually looking forward to getting to the table. Calling mm -hmm. it historic because I think about when I came into the league, we only had 80 of our 200 plus games being shown True. on national platforms and now over 200. So if you build it, they will come. That works. This media deal, media rights for women's sports have been undervalued for too long, but a $2.2 billion deal with ABC, ESPN, Disney, mm -hmm. as well as having NBC come in and Amazon. So if you look at the media landscape and the disruption and the streamers coming in and now everybody have their own streaming platforms, even linear, it's such a great time to be in the market. So yeah. we had this confluence of all of our positive events going on with the college game coming into our game. But also the interest in the WNBA has never been higher. The attendance this year, Robin, you come to our arenas, mm -hmm. um, the big fan, and the uh, viewership. I mean, averaging over a million viewers on all four of our national platforms is amazing. It's highly entertaining being in the arena. What you're seeing on the court. Huge push to the playoffs here, and that's when the big games of consequence are. So, And there's so many great matchups coming up with, you know, Vegas, New York playing each other. Um, Angel and Caitlin are going to play on August 30th on a Friday night in Chicago. So, so many great matchups to look forward to. I mean, Connecticut and Minnesota are playing yeah. great, and with Brittany and DT coming back from the Olympics, and Clea Copper, what a game she had. She did. For the gold medal, and so, so key. She's from Philadelphia, where I'm from, so a little, from, so a little shout out but yeah so much to look forward to and so that was the WNBA commissioner speaking about that lawsuit the Caitlin Clark effect and more importantly that media rights deal bro but it's just great like I stated before to see her speaking out kind of taking the leader role as she should in regards to this league moving on to another story fans is calling for Becky Hammond to be fired over these allegations in regards to that lawsuit 
Get down in the comments section. Let me know your thoughts about Becky Hammond. And do you guys think that, that she should lose her job over those accusations? Moving on to Kaitlyn Clark, man. The Indiana Fever released some big-time information about the Kaitlyn Clark effect, bro. Let's pull it up right now. The 2024 mid-season report for the Indiana Fever. It stated merchandise sales is up 1,193%. Ticket sales is up 264%. 38 of their games appeared on national television, breaking 10 broadcast viewership records, 800 million YouTube videos, they're ranked number one among teams in the WNBA, NBA, NFL, NHL, or MAB in videos consumption in that time span from April to July, bro. This is big time. So when it comes to the YouTube platform and sports, Caitlin Clark and the Indiana Fee it's the hottest topic in all of sports. This is major. The Indiana Fever literally 10x their social media followers by 1.8 million. And then they gained another 1.3 million followers from April through July. Their corporate partners is up 225%. And I'm telling you right now, that is the largest in the WNBA. Kaylin Clark has set this franchise on fire. Everything is up like a thousand some percent across the board. Shout out to the Indiana Fever. They're set to make their debut this Friday going up against the Phoenix Mercury at Indiana, and I'm telling you, it is going to be box office. Get down in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts about this. Keep them bells on because you know I'm going to bring you the news. And until next time, dog, shake the haters off. I'm out of here. Peace out. Shake the haters off.